Thank you for watching this brief overview of the North 49 Customer Portal. The portal will allow your customers to check their accounts, view and reprint transactions, view and reprint orders, check real-time order status, pay accounts online, and process orders directly into Stage 300 order entry. The portal also includes functionality for click to pay, or what we refer to as quick pay. This allows you to embed a link in a document, invoice, or email on which the customer can click to be taken directly to a payment method for that document. Here is an example of a link embedded into a Word document. When the customer clicks on the linked text, they will be taken to the quick pay form with the relevant data loaded. The system will check the validity of the document and allow payment if appropriate. When the customer has made the payment, they will be able to print a copy of the receipt immediately. Let's go back to the payment portal screen. The login screen contains the merchant company graphics, the company address and URL, as well as a welcome message and request for user registration. User registration can be done via email request or self-registration, which requires validation against some information within the AR account. Account validation can be done against company zip code, last invoice number, or last payment amount. And based on portal settings, registration could allow immediate access or require merchant approval. When the customer logs in, he will be presented with available options and based on portal settings, may also see a note pop up. The note is entered on the AR customer account in Sage 300 accounts receivable under comments and with the category type web. When the customer clicks the OK button, the portal will update the note category in accounts receivable to indicate the user has seen it. Selecting account activity will give the user a summary overview of their account. This includes the current account balance, last statement, last invoice, last payment, and outstanding balance. It also includes a graph of the last three years sales history for this customer. View transactions allows the user to view and reprint historical transactions. The user may choose the number of transactions per page, whether to see all transactions or only those with current active balances, as well as the transaction type they are looking for. When a document is selected, the portal will display the original document. The user can also print a copy or save a PDF of the document. Receipt documents will show how the receipt was applied. If the company has allowed the storage of credit card tokens, the user will be able to manage credit cards stored on the portal. For integrated payment solutions, the credit card tokens can also be stored within the Stage 300. New credit cards are added during payment processing. The Pay Account option allows a user to pay outstanding invoices in accounts receivable. The user may click on any document to view a summary of the details. When all documents to be paid have been selected, the user will be taken to payment options, where they will be able to select a card to use for that payment. The user may at this point select to add a new card, and if card storage was not selected as a portal option, the user will be direct directed to the gateway for the payment. If a stored card is selected, this process is bypassed. After payment is made, the user will be presented with a receipt if applicable. A copy of the receipt will be emailed to the user, but they could also print a copy immediately. A notification copy of the receipt is also emailed to the merchant. View orders gives the user access to real-time order information. Selections to show all or only open orders are available together with the ability to select or filter by order type. The user may click on an order line to see summary of detail 
and also drill down into the full document where they will be able to reprint or save a copy. A list of outstanding or backordered items is available and the customer may click through to the original order from there as well. Let us have a look at order entry on the portal. The order entry screens were designed for both ease of use and like the rest of the portal, for efficient access on mobile devices. When any portal screen is viewed on a mobile device, the screen will adapt to typical mobile functionality, including adapted layout and the hamburger menu for navigation. Shipping information and comments are accessed by sliding down the order tab. The user may select to ship to address stored in accounts receivable or enter a ship to address for this order. A customer purchase order, requested delivery date, and comments or shipping instructions can also be entered. When the order information has been entered, the user may choose to close that portion of the screen for entry efficiency. Items are added by entering search criteria and hitting the enter key or clicking on the search button. The system will search for the entered information in the formatted or unformatted item number, the item description, or any of the additional information lines one to four, which can be found on the item form in inventory control. An item is selected from the search results using the arrow keys or by clicking on the item. The user is then asked for the quantity and, if applicable, the unit of measure to be purchased. The process to add items to the order can be entirely keyboard driven. The items available to the customer for purchase is restricted to those on the price list attached to the customer and all Stage 300 pricing models are supported, including customer type discounts, volume discount, sale prices and contract pricing. When the user has added all items to the order, they may go ahead and place the order. The order is written directly into Sage 300 order entry in real time, and the system will return the order number to the user immediately. Once posted, the user may choose to view or print a copy of the order or continue to place further orders. A confirmation of the order is also emailed to the customer as well as the merchant. Finally, the portal contains a contact us form, which may be used to contact the merchant via email. The user will get an email confirmation of the request which was submitted. This wraps up our look at the North 49 customer portal. For further information or to speak to us about making the portal available for your customers, please contact us at the numbers below or via our website. Thank you for watching.